the players of today has really got me, again, myself, amped up to uh, do a good job for them. The Detroit Pistons, you know, the bad boys, they beat us in 89, and the uh, following year, the Bulls came back in the finals, and they beat them. I ain't even go plus me to clean. when he's on his game and Boston calls time here easy to see that this Hornet squad loves to play at a fast pace and for good reason they're built to do just that they push the ball up the court fast and hard and they really work hard to try and catch the opposition unprepared and unalert now here's smart as far as his production he's averaging about eight points per game left side Brown he shoots it the shot misses now Charlotte takes it the other way and when it comes to their up-tempo play do the Hornets youthfulness play a part in that you think Clark there's no question about it yeah I mean a younger squad definitely I think means more natural energy so they've got more gas in that tank their amber light rarely comes on and they can really outwork uh, more experienced older teams in some cases and Boston has possession following the bucket by the Hornets pass to Horford first quarter of ball almost two and a half minutes in back to smart shoots over ball Boston again missing Charlotte has gone one or two from three-point land so far against MP. Here's Oubre. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Brad, you look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise. It's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three-plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. McDaniels comes in for Hayward. Williams passes to Williams. Outside Brogdon. They need this. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Now when 
ball. Oh, I love the leadership of Brock. Always hard at work for his team. He's facilitating, communicating, providing offensive energy and direction. Love what this guy brings to the court. Richards is checked in for Charlotte. Rozier comes in for LaMelo Ball. Jackson, he's checked in for Boston. Uses the glass on the layup. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Boston trailing. Jackson on the wing. Back to White. 125 left in the first. Puts it up. And Tatum, the bucket on the assist by White. Very capable as a point guard is Derek White, showing off his playmaking skills there. Brockton against MP. Down low. And he takes that one up and powers it through. <laughs> so oh. sick, the Ooh. vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Tell you what, you'd hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. Now here's MP. The last game out, he had 38 points. And it's good for two. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Inside, Williams. And Williams punches it home. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. For Boston, they've gone three of eight so far. Jackson outside. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. White against Rozier. Chalk up two there. Yeah, Outstanding wow. concentration that time by White on the take. Play through the contact and score. To the middle. It's stolen by Brogdon. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Here's Tatum. And it's MP with a rebound. Stolen by Jackson. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. They're... Hornets. 18, the Celtics, 10. And welcome back to our NBA coverage on this very special MLK Day. And from what we've seen from the Hornets, what's your take so far? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Kelly Oubre out there with Mason Plumley. Then there's Gordon Hayward. Then it's MP. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. A nice Jaylen shot Brown by Brown. Hey, three. guys, that's just outstanding confidence from Brown. I mean, getting up with the shot right away and giving the defense no time to react, that's impressive. Now here's MP. Give him eight points now. And the shot goes. Oubre's got four points this quarter. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Celtics put on a show. He picked up 38 points and also did a lot of damage from long. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Well, the Celtics shooting a nice 50% for the game. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, we want to make sure that you play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. Here's Brown following the bucket by the Hornets. Back to Smart. There's the triple. 
The offensive rebound. And down it goes. Robert Two points. Williams. And their offense seems to be coming around. Right. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. And, you know, that's a really good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gate, but uh, right they're back. starting to look a little better now and regaining some ground. Now a timeout. The Bella Ball getting it done for the... And thanks for staying with us, folks, for our MLK Day broadcast of NBA action. You look at the mellow ball in this game. He's been everywhere. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Kick it off the second half. Here's Ime Odoka's five. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. And it's smart, and it's a point guard position. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Brown against MP. And there's Oubre. That one's good. On the assist by MP. MP's got assist number eight here already in the game. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Now here's Smart. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Clock at six. Here's Tatum. Oh, and makes it with Jason the kiss. Tatum. Tatum takes some contact but pushes through to get his shot. That's good aggressiveness there. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Ooh, <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Outside, Brown releases. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Brown's got seven points. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. First team back. And that one falls for Oubre. The line for your corner. So Oubre nails them both. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As a league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Ah, uh, you know, B.I., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Question. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Pass to Tatum. Horford outside. Now smart. There's the three. Offensive board. Williams. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. The Celtics making a switch here. Brogdon's checked in. Now here's Hayward. He's averaging almost five points a game. Throws it up high. Throw it down on the lob. Oh, great teamwork right there.